all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back you already know i told you guys so if you see me wearing the the, the same shirt on the second day it's the next day just remember i'm trying to record all these all of these episodes for the week in the same session okay so i'm trying to do four episodes in one session you're just not going to be able to see all four of them on the same day it's going to be monday through thursday okay so don't hate on me because I'm wearing some regular ass white t-shirt, okay? <laughs> Just know that I'm trying to do all of these in one session, record everything for the week um, between today and tomorrow. That's what it is. So in the last episode, in episode six of season eight of The Walking Dead, you know, episode was kind of slow, but at the same time, very informative episode, in my opinion, um, very, um, very slow pace. But it moved the story along. And I like to see that throughout seasons. I know it can be torture. When you're watching. If you're watching a show like this. Where you got to wait weekly. For these episodes to come out. And you're waiting for these episodes to come out. And then you get a slow episode like this. You're kind of a little. You're a little pissed off. And I totally understand. When people have their different opinions. Me watching this show. I'm, of course I'm going to have a totally different experience. Than most people. Right. Because I'm basically binge watching the show. You know. I'm basically binge watching the show. So I'm going to have a totally different experience. I'm going to have. And, and that's why a lot of times. When these stuff come out. On your DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. Or on any streaming services. You should probably go back and watch that stuff. Because. You know, so you can binge watch it. You might have a different experience. I've seen this plenty of times. I remember when I used to wait when when season eight of Game of Thrones was going on. I had to wait the whole week to see the next episode. It's a whole different experience from when I was reacting, you know, from season one to season seven. It was a whole different experience, you know, even though it still ended up being absolute trash, in my opinion, you know, I still think that. It was a whole different experience than when I was binge watching and watching it every single day for like, I don't even remember how long it took me to get through all of those Game of Thrones reactions. But regardless, um, you know, with this show, I'm just weighing, I'm just weighing it. I'm just weighing it because sometimes the show really do need to slow down. Give us some of these quote unquote slice of life episode if that's something that exists in the walking dead universe yeah <laughs> you know um so the situation that's going on with carl i didn't talk about that in the review um because it, it doesn't really intrigue me that much i get what carl is trying to do with i think his name is sadiq i think they're gonna have a huge problem with you going out trying to recruit people right now that could be a stranded dude from one from one of the um from from he could be a savior you get what I'm saying? And we don't know. You know, he could be stranded out there and just telling all these lies. We don't know. And that's why I'm saying that's why I'm taking Maggie's side right now over Jesus because I cannot trust any of these dudes. I don't trust any of them. Any of them. I don't care if I mean, look at look at the dude Morales, right? Look at him. I think that's his name, right? Morales, the dude that Daryl killed. A dude from se that was back from season one. Um, look at him. He's Negan. You know what I mean? So that's crazy. But anyways, we're going to jump into these episodes. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode seven of season eight of The Walking Dead. My God, um, again, slow episode, but it moved the story along. I didn't mind it one bit. Um, wow, wow, and wow. This show is, I have to say, I mean, some people are gonna look at it and say, "Oh, this is bad writing. It's slow pace. The pacing is all off and stuff like that." But as I said. The pacing is really slow right now, but it works for for the type of show, for the aesthetic, everything, the sound design, everything. It works because you got to get through the season. I mean, we're only at 
episode seven right now. We still got about eight more episodes to go. So you got to pace yourself throughout seasons. This is not a, 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 a you know, a six episode season like, say, a, a Peaky Blinders or, you know what I mean? Like shows like that, eight episodes, 10 episodes, 16 episodes. So they got to stretch it. They got to stretch it. And some seasons you got, you know, a rapid pace right throughout the season um some start out slow ends up picking up some of them you know is very slow the entire season um so it's 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 good this season so far the pace is really good in my opinion it's very um it's very steady i would say it's it's a very steady pace that they're at right now now daryl I don't know if this is going to come back to bite them in the ass, which I think it will. I, I don't think it was a bad decision to make, as in the what the plan was for them to do. I don't think it was a bad decision to make that decision to, to drive the truck in there to get the walkers inside. Because that's where they are. Rick doesn't really know. You get what I'm saying? That they're basically all inside right now with none of them really outside um it looks like they cleared it out but rick doesn't know what's going on i don't know why the snipers are missing and why he can't contact them so that's another thing too um also in this episode we saw that rosita a little bit of character growth there that i really appreciated from her um and she might be coming up to be you know, a different character now, which is fine. Character development need to happen, especially when characters are in shows for multiple seasons. You need to see development. You need to see how things affect them, i.e. Ezekiel, i.e. Um, Michonne, you, you, Rick, Daryl. You got to see how things affect them in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Seeing tough people break down and lose themselves and become something else is a... a um, it's a really good thing to see in TV shows because we all go through different stages in life in our own real lives. So in my opinion, that's great to see in TV shows. You don't want to see a character just one dimensional throughout eight and 10 seasons of a TV show. It's just, it's just one way. And that's what it is. We've seen Rick go through so many different stages in his life since we've met him in season one decisions that he had to make you know, attitudes that he's had, you know what I'm saying, emotional stuff that he's been through, all of these little things, and they've all played a part in how he's changed over these um, seven and a half seasons, right, so they all played played into that, some people, you know what I'm saying, some people have not changed so much, but you could still see character development. Maggie become one of the most badass characters in the show. I mean, she was very timid when we met her. She did things. She was very brave when she was doing things. But at the same time, I didn't see her becoming like a leader of a faction now, which she is. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't see her in that role, but she is killing it right now. So... In my opinion, this episode, I think some repercussions are going to happen because now Rick kind of knows what's going on, but he don't know the full story. Seems like the snipers are missing or they left because they drove all that stuff. Maybe they're celebrating a victory. We don't know. So I'm looking forward to see how they're going to address that in the next episode. I don't want to talk too much here. I really do appreciate you guys for coming through and checking out this reaction, man. We didn't get an update on what's going on with Carl and... Acidic, I think, in this episode, but it definitely was worth um, seeing them um, doing that in the last episode. It was worth it, but at the same time, I don't know where that storyline is going. But I, but I appreciate the fact that they're kind of like, um, you know, Carl kind of still being a kid and being loving and kind of taking certain things about, you know, learning certain things, bringing up you know, things from his mom and how he's acting now, you know what I mean? And explaining, you know, what's going on, but you still got to have that a certain 
kind of skepticism when it comes on to saving people right now because you're in the middle of a war. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, this goes for real life too. When soldiers go out there and they're in war, yeah, you want to save everyone, but you never know the person you might trying to save could be an enemy trying to blow you the hell up. So you got to be careful. Approach the approach all situations with the caution it deserves. So. Um, when it comes on to um, Negan and the Eugene situation that happened in this episode, I, I don't, uh, you know, Eugene is a, is a survivor. He's a survivor. And that's where they're going with when it comes on to Eugene's character is that, oh, he's a survivor. He's going to do whatever it takes to survive. He doesn't really have friends. He's just, he don't care if he's screwing you over. He just wants to live. And I get that. And in the process, maybe he can save some people too. That's his MO. But at the same time, it's a very cowardly way of being courageous. If you understand what I'm saying, it's a cowardly way to be courageous. I mean, it's a, it's kind of like an oxymoron, but <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's, it, you know, it's, it's, it just, it kind of doesn't work, but at the same time, I think that's what they're going for with Eugene's character is to show that, you know, um, some people might act and say that they, they, they're not fearful. Eugene embraces his fear and acts on it, you know, and it, 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 in, in a way too, in a way, Eugene acts like any other person in real life, to be honest. If you, if you really take a step, like people are badass. In real life, off bat, don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying people are not brave or people are always cowardly. A regular citizen, a regular citizen that wasn't raised a certain way, never been exposed to certain things, especially somebody like Eugene, which is like, you know, he's, he, he, he's really smart, obviously, and stuff like that. Usually people like that are not exposed to certain things. They're not necessarily brave individuals. So he's really acting the part and he, and the actor that's playing Eugene is doing an excellent job of portraying that. So I really appreciate that about his character. But at the same time, I'm not, I don't love his character. I don't love his character. He's not even in my top five characters in the show. He's not because he's the type of character you don't want to see in a, in a, in a show like this, but he is there. You get what I'm saying? You can't root for him because he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? I hate the fact that he keeps keep he keeps um calling Rick and them traveling companions. Like every time he says it, it hurts my heart a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It really does hurt my heart a little bit for to hear him say that. These people who have taken him in, treated him like an equal. Tr you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, they kind of, you know, I don't want to say that they've ever I don't think they've ever like pushed him to the background. Um you know, I think he's done some things that is not so credible, you know what I mean? And, you know, maybe make him feel less than, you know, um, and not utilizing his talents per se. And now he kind of being utilized for the smart individual that he is. And he feels a little bit better with Negan, in my opinion. But at the same time, these people were your friends. They were your friends. But according to him, they're traveling companions. But... It's, I, I yet to see him do something that really that's that's like out there. He just wants to survive. And I really understand that. So I guess we'll get to see more of him. He's really don't want to tell Negan about Dwight. For some reason, he's still conflicted. So I had that scene where he was trying to get drunk or whatever, drinking a whole bottle of wine. Um, so we'll see, man. We'll see. Definitely. We will see on to the next episode. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. It's a boy, Terabyte Reacts. Peace.